Hi everyone, a tiny video today in order to explain how you can create a yes or a, at least if yes or if no condition within a Lime survey. So what we want to achieve is this. We have a question over here. Uh, so this event is intended to be in English. Will you be interested to have this event taught in another uh, language? So if you say no, nothing's going to happen. If you say yes, then another question is coming up. Um, there's another way to tackle this issue. You could, of course, create another question straight away, which is, okay, if you answered yes, then blah, blah, blah. But the problem, if you do so, is that uh, you cannot make it uh, compulsory. If not, it means that the person who say no will have to answer to it, whereas it was, a, it was an if yes. And it means that it will have no sense. So in all cases, it's better to have it said this way rather than adding another question. Which is, uh, which is over here. Okay, in order to create this, it's not very instinctive at the beginning, but I think it's just more about uh, how you use the Lime Survey, because the more you use Lime Survey, then the more you find it instinctive. It's true that at the beginning, well, it, it's kind of strange. So in order to define this, uh, you need to set a condition, and the condition, the set condition thing, is only appearing once uh, you are already uh, once you already created the, the question. So uh, in my case, uh, the question was the following one, you see, uh, the number five. So what you do is that you create another question. So this is the yes and no uh, question. So as you can see, it's a yes and no question. So you are adding another question. Then uh, this question, you call it as you want. In my case, I call it this. And when you access to this additional question, you would like to ask if someone is saying yes, you click over here on the, on the pen. So here you mark your question as usual. And then it's when you do your close over here, that here you are getting this panel over here. And on this panel, you click on set conditions. And it's going to uh, straight away select exactly what you want. You see it's condition designer is only show the question this one if something and then you can define the condition which by default is um, is kind of easy to, to select. So uh, you just select over here the question that you want to play with. So in my case that was the following one. Then uh, you select the option on which is gonna appear. So in my case it was if it was a yes and then you don't forget to click here on add condition. When you do so, it's going to put it over here, which confirm what you want to do. But if you don't click on this button, add condition, and so as me at the beginning, you click on save and close, not going to work. So even if you select this one, this one, and you click here on save and close, not going to work. You need to add the condition first. And once you have clicked on this button, it will appear over here, and then uh, don't go over here and refresh the page. You need to uh, access back to uh, your um, to your form like uh, like this uh, da, 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 overview, and then you need to uh, I don't know which I don't remember like preview the survey, but you need to load it back thanks to the backend, and then you will get this uh, this thing this yes and no condition working. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.